Fuck a soldier. I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. Marching till it's over. Hello, friends and allies, and welcome to the last part of the quest within the Tides quest. After you killed the boss, I forgot to say that you're supposed to say hi mission, and you will gain uh, the item which you use to tame the mount. After killing Timira, the many headed. But let's start with the quest. We're gonna do some uh, missions in Mountains Matters, and we're gonna start with fix the observatory. And this mission is necessary to be doing during the night. So we can see the moon and the stars. So let's head to the observatory. And don't forget to bring your hammer. And here we're gonna say hi, mission, and yes. And then we're gonna go furthest down in this building. And here we're gonna fix and water wheel uh, or turbine. So we're gonna start by pressing the lever, which will slow slow it down. And then we will use the hammer on the wheel. And then you will have a quest log update, as you can see in the server log. And then we're gonna be heading back up to the top and talk with NPC once again. And then we say hi mission. And then we are supposed to be finding a telescope. But we need a glass lens first, and that has been stolen and is hidden in a nest. So to be finding that, we need to pass the bridge and go to the other side. And we will be finding it in a red bush. And here we have it. So let's head back to uh, the NPC once again. And we will be saying hi, mission. And now we will be getting ourselves a map. And we need to locate three different spots around the island and press the map during the night. So it's important that it is night to be able to be doing this part of the quest. So let's head there right now. Spot number one.
and then we will be heading up to the top of this tower and we will have spot number two. And now we are close to our final spot, spot number 3, and we are done, and we can head back to the NPC where we first took the quest. And now we are back at the south of the city and we are starting the star crossed lover missions so we gonna start by saying hi mission here and then we are sent to the temple where we also will be heading to say hi mission And now we are sent to the next NPC, where I would say hi, mission, mission, because it's a good idea to say twice here, just in case.
So now it's time to find the four good omens. That means that we want to create blessed water. So we will be heading to a pile of dry wood to be getting ourselves a splint. And then we're gonna be using the splint to get a burning splint. And then we're gonna use it on um, some ice to be gaining water. And now we are about to be heading to the pile of wood right here. And you can see some parters on the way. We are going to be needed parter fewer on one mission. So it's a good idea to be killing some of these um, furies. And use the splinter on the fire. And now we are ready to be heading to the next stage. And now we're gonna use the burning torch which we just created on the ice and then we're gonna press the water and we're gonna get ourselves the flask which we wanted. And now we're heading to a vortex a little bit to the east. And now we're gonna need our diving equipment because we want a moonshine pearl. And now we can be taking the pearl here and then we should be heading back to town to the temple and say hi mission to an NPC. And the NPC which we are going to talk with is the NPC in this temple on the south of the city. And you say hi mission. And then we are ready to be going to the next NPC, Nihaka. And we're going to be talking about the damselfly. So here we're going to say hi damselfly and now we are supposed to be catching something but first we will be combining some items to gather the necessary material. We're going to need a mango and an juice squeezer and we're also going to be needing some honeycomb and we are going to be combining those. As you can see on the right side of your screen we are combining them together. So we will be heading just a little bit to the southwest to a very beautiful statue and here we will be using our bait which we created with the mango and the honeycomb and the juice squeezer and let's use it on the water and here as you can see we got a living damselfly and we're gonna be using the item on, on the summoned creature to be catching the monster. And now it's time for the next step.
and now we're gonna need a foam stalker spume which we gain from killing the foam stalkers and you should be having one in in loot at least after killing those 300 creature in previous missions so now we're heading back to the spot where we used the, for the observatory and we're gonna be using this foam spoon on the ground and a flower will be rising up and we will press that flower and we will bring it in our backpack to the NPC So, use the vial on the floor and press the flower and we are ready to go for our next stop. And now we are going to be going to the NPC Kandra in um, the south town and we're gonna go back to Nihaka. And we're gonna say hi mission to both of these NPCs. So here we go, high mission, and we're ready to go for our next NPC. And here we go, high mission, and then we're heading to the miniboss Kusuma, and here we're gonna pick up the Gemus Lotus brooch, and as an addition we're just gonna be killing the boss, but the boss isn't necessary to kill, the most important thing is to pick up the Lotus brooch. So step on the color thing and pick up the um, gamut brush from the chest and we will just be killing the boss as a nice addition.
and here we're gonna go for high mission and we got ourselves a nice new backpack now it's time to do the mission stolen naga eggs so we're gonna start off we're talking with the NPC Saraka just down below and here we're just gonna say hi mission and then we're heading to the NPC Kamudi And here we go, high mission. And then we are heading off to the next NPC, Vresaki, and it's to the east. And here we say Naga X. And then we are heading to be gathering our last necessary items, which is the part of your, the canary feather, and a couple of ice cubes. And the ice cubes will be used with the ice chisel. So we are back in the south area of the town and we're heading to the canary bird and we're pressing it and we got ourselves a feather. And now it's uh, time to be using the ice cube I decided for. So use the icicle chisel on them and we want to create a pretty or beautiful or marvelous ice flower. So. And we're back at the stone and we're gonna use all the free items on the mad face above the stone. And you can see that the ice turns blue. And that means that we are ready for our next mission. And we're just gonna say hi Nagex to this NPC once again. Now we're heading to the sunken temple with a lot of Nagas in it. And don't forget, as I said, to say Naga eggs to the NPC 
and then we are bringing our Gamed Lotus brooch which we got from killing the Kusuma and we will be using the brooch on the wall which will be getting us access inside of the wall where we will be grabbing ourselves and bag with Naga eggs. Right in front of me right now, I will be using the Gamed Loses brush to be entering the wall and then pressing the wall again. And here I will be pressing the stone to be getting that Naga eggs. And then we are heading back to Kam Kamudi and here we are just going to be saying hi mission. And here we, as I said, we'll say hi mission and by that we will be getting ourselves a Naga nest, which I suppose people could be leaving is a nice um, uh, decoration item. And then we will be heading back to Saraki and here we're gonna be saying hi mission. And if you have killed uh, the boss Timira, the many headed, then we will be saying hi mission twice and then we are done with this quest line we have received ourselves an uh, mount we have received a backpack and we have received a naga nest and if you have watched this far thank you guys very much for watching hope i will see you guys in some of the other new summer update videos which i will be releasing Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.